Hello. Thank you for giving me a few moments of your attention on this very special day. Not only is it our graduation day, it's also Mother's Day. And I can't think of a better present than to say I love you, Mom, in front of a few onlookers. I know many of you here have traveled far to support and celebrate loved ones. My family joins us from Maine, and I'm sure others have flown across time zones and maybe even oceans to be here. My favorite saying that I learned this past summer in Ghana is the greeting akwaba, which means, hello, you are welcome. Mothers, fathers, grandparents, siblings, amigos, akwaba, thank you all for joining our Kogod community here today. I remember the night before my first day at Kogod. I was so anxious. In an attempt to calm my nerves, I took a walk. Growing up and to this day, my family often takes walks. Though at home in Maine, we walk through the woods down to the lake, and here in DC, I walk down Pennsylvania Avenue to the White House. But I found that no matter where I am, a walk around the block centers me. We've come here today in our nation's capital to celebrate the accomplishment of, learning, of earning our business degrees. Whether it's an MBA, a degree in marketing, sustainability, or finance, excuse me, finance, <laughs> We are here together as a community to congratulate each other on reaching this moment. But I don't want to spend our short time that's left here together talking about everything that went right that led us here. Your family has probably already heard all about that anyways. 100% old news. Instead, I want us to talk about what we've overcome to get here. What failures have carried us forward towards this moment of pride and accomplishment? I believe that these often unmentioned moments are even more important to remember and appreciate. Today, standing right where I am, I feel blessed not just for earning this degree. I feel gratitude for all of those moments of failure and struggle, those times when I thought I was not on the right track, because look, they've led me here. I remember the afternoon a fellow student gave me a tour of Kogod after I was admitted. She showed me around the classrooms, the computer lab with those fancy Bloomberg terminals, and then introduced me to the rooms I would spend the majority of my time here at Kogod, the breakout conference rooms, which she nicknamed the breakdown rooms. <laughs> it's true, I've had my share of frustration and anxieties in there, especially in breakdown room E. I've had days where I wondered why in the world I had set myself up to practice time value of money problems or analyze 10Ks for hours on end. Those were days I really needed to walk around the block. But now when I think back on those hours of analysis, those group presentation run-throughs with five team members squeezed into those tiny breakdown rooms, grabbing our foreheads in frustration, all I think about is the people I was there with. I cherish these memories because I was there with you. The people who make up the Kogod community are this, the source of my most treasured memories from these past two years. I've spent hours in breakdown rooms with many of you. You are the people I've learned from, been supported by, and whose friendships have made studying to become a manager in our global economy really the best job in the world. The Kogod School of Business and its talented faculty have provided us the platform to build upon our inner strengths, inspired our capacity to lead, and energized us to bound forward with more confidence and knowledge than ever before. I've always loved the African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Here at Kogod, we've connected to a community that not only has brought us far, but proverb aside, has done so at a speed that takes my breath away. Taking this next step from Kogod into our careers may be a scary one. Maybe you're feeling just like me the night before my first day at Kogod. Anxious, excited, unsure what to expect from what's coming next. A good friend of mine once told me she believes all we ever need is 10 seconds of courage. That's all it takes. 10 seconds to take those first few steps. Then we're on our way and unstoppable. Please, no matter where your path takes you in this world, remember to embrace and celebrate moments of frustration and failure. Remember they're just one more step on the path to success, a moment to reflect on where you are, connect with those around you, and to feel gratitude for the strength and courage you have to persevere and move forward. Remember that when you don't have a breakdown room to step into, you can take a walk and call a friend from Kogod. I assure you that somewhere in this world, there'll be an eagle out there to listen. Our degrees from the Kogod School of Business are like a badge of courage we share. We all stepped into this school however many months ago, daring greatly. 
Wherever we step next, we are united. Congratulations, class of 2015. Aquava.